Thank you for tuning in to Watch Sixto. My name's Sixto. Today is a vintage Seiko moon phase that was actually uh, given to me by one of my customers that I fixed his watch. He picked this up at a pawn shop for $2. Spent, what is it, almost 6 bucks on a new battery and it's working. Uh, you can see it's a moon face the the sub dial you can see you got the the moon and at the 12 o'clock you have the date window with the gold border this is a gold plated I think it was 14 quote unquote gold plated it's couldn't figure out what year this one was off the um, the Seiko serial it put me down several locations, either 68, 78, 88, or 98. I'm almost willing to bet it was between 88 and 98, so roughly 90 from what this movement. This is uh, the Seiko 6F22-7009. This is on a elastic bracelet where he picked it, picked it up. And here is your info. Let's see if I can get into. It's a Seiko base metal. There's stainless steel back. 6F. is a Japanese. 810432. So this is going to be a little review. And later down. It's going to be a, a project watch for myself. When you... Pull the crown all the way out. The moon face will, well, it should be activated. As you can see, the it's nighttime, which is kind of almost true. Let's see. Advance. As you can see, the hands look pretty decent. Uh, not too much wear and tear on there. You can see the crystal has seen better days. It's a mineral crystal where it looks like rust might be on the inside. And let's see. And that advanced to, to the next day which would be on a Friday. So you can see the moon dial is not budging at all. But what's the fun part is when you manually have it in the first setting or the second setting to be exact, just change the day it automatically in advance. So this is going to be a project for me to take apart and see what is going on. If you guys would like to see that, let me know in the comments below. I'd probably make a video of it. And let's get down to the nitty gritty. As you can see, the crystal, or the crystal, the crown is not the same color. I think it was an aftermarket crown. It has drill lugs, which is pretty cool. It's at a 39.6 from lug to lug. Uh, the thickness. A 7.3 18 mil lug width so you could change it up put a leather strap 33 and a half from the the 4 and the 11 and 34 on the dot with the crown like I said mineral crystal you can see all the scuffs and whatever debris is on the inside it's on the elastic band It's actually not too bad. So this is going to be a, a future project watch for myself. Speaking of project watch, I'm still rocking this guy. Still working on it. Got to wait for one more piece to make it a full. So if you guys have any experience with this, with this moon face, oh, if 
And what do you guys think about uh, watches with the sub dial of the 24 hour sub dial? Do you think they should go back to the moon face so you could at least have something to look at instead of just uh, doing the military time at the whatever position, the six o'clock, nine o'clock, or floating in the middle? Because you know, Citizen does it and uh, Timex has their new or somewhat new automatic watch with the 24 hour sub dial, I think at the nine o'clock position. But let me know what you guys think about that. On to the next one. You guys have a good one. Bye.